crime investigations underway after a display honoring Israelis who were kidnapped by Hamas was vandalized. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paula Eben. The search is on for the person responsible. And as WBZ's Penny Commit shows us, the organizers of the display say they plan to turn this vandalism into a message. Look, they, they just wiped out the faces, so they had to take time. It's not like somebody was doing it quick. Like A vandalized fence in Newton, once filled with the faces of Israeli hostages taken by Hamas, but now covered in black spray paint, isn't coming down anytime soon. We wanted to show also it's not just rhetoric, that, that people are screaming, but then now they're doing vandalism, and who knows, the next step is physical violence, so it is very scary. The Kozowski family says their devastated fence which was destroyed by vandals over the weekend, will stand to serve as a message that anti-Semitism is still alive and a reminder as to why the Hamas-Israel war started in the first place. Everybody wants to forget that there was an October 7th. Everyone wants to just remember what was the latest, uh, you know, person who died in a war far away. But these are real people and we can't, we owe it to them not to forget them. The Newton Police Department is now investigating this act of vandalism as a hate crime and the homeowners here tell me they've even been in contact with the FBI. In a statement, Newton's chief of police wrote, we denounce such behavior and our community has no tolerance for such bias and hateful acts. Neighbors say this incident has made them reconsider their safety. It does make you wonder. And many of us are getting that ring doorbell and some security and it's a shame. Especially considering the neighborhood's large Jewish population. There's someone in this community who has a nephew who's being held hostage. This is this is this is real stuff. Meanwhile, the Kazowskis say they will continue making their message heard with plans to not only leave up the destroyed fence, but also create something new that highlights and remembers those taken by Hamas. Even if, if we keep this up, we're going to put something up so that you'll be able to see the hostages because they're human beings. In Newton, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.